We're here today to talk about the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and efforts to support Ukraine's defense. Ever since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, there's been a lot of international support for Ukraine's defense. Just this month, the NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said he's confident that Ukraine will now be in a position to liberate even more land. It's an example of just how seriously the international community is taking the conflict in Ukraine. The US for example is helping to train nine Ukrainian storm brigades for the counteroffensive and is providing military assistance that includes 40 sniper rifles, 16 radio sets and ammunition for the sniper rifles. Canada has also provided $39 million to the conflict, in addition to contributing to a NATO fund to help in the war. The UK has even gone so far as to impose sanctions on five people linked to the arrest of Kremlin critic, Vladimir Karamorza. Recently Germany, Poland, and Ukraine signed an agreement for a hub to repair Leopard tanks used in Ukraine to fight Russian forces. It's estimated to cost between 150 and 200 million euros a year and could begin operations at the end of May. What's remarkable about this conflict is that it's uniting the international community like no other before it. NATO recently invited Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to their summit in July to show their unwavering support. At the summit, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said our support for the forces of freedom in Ukraine holds strong and true. It's a sign of optimism that the international community will do everything it can to help Ukraine retake the land Russia unlawfully invaded. In addition to international support, Ukraine is also preparing its defense forces. Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov recently tweeted that Ukraine is de facto already a part of the alliance's security space having reached unprecedented levels of interoperability. Another strength of the Ukraine forces is their intelligence capabilities. Just this week, a Moscow court issued an arrest warrant for the head of Ukrainian military intelligence, Kirill Budinov, and accuses him of organizing terrorist attacks inside Russia. It's clear that the international community is determined to support Ukraine in regaining control of the territories illegally occupied by Russia. As the conflict continues, there will be more efforts from the international community to strengthen Ukraine's defense and ensure that Russia's illegal aggression does not stand. For now, we can only hope for a peaceful resolution to this conflict and for Ukraine to one day reclaim their land.